Support. I'm a big YouTube fan and you watch those helicopters lower linemen onto power lines or cut trees out in the backcountry. That's some really skilled flying. You're going to see some more skill fly from Aaron right here. Watch what he does in this helicopter. I call that an aileron roll, but he doesn't have any ailerons on that plane. Aaron's flown in flight test programs for NASA and Lockheed Martin. He was the aerial coordinator for several aviation projects that broke world records. Aaron has been a member of the Flying Bull since 2017. He was trained by Rainer Wilkie and Blackie Schwartz, the masters of helicopter aerobatics. He has performed aerobatic helicopter displays for millions of spectators throughout North America. Look at that. Brings it over the top and does a loop in a helicopter. He was awarded the Medal of Valor for rescuing two flight crew members from a burning helicopter. So thank you, Aaron. I'm sure some of his training with the 82nd helped prepare him for that. In addition to flying in air shows and doing movie work, he flies UH-60 Blackhawks on firefighting contracts with the Forest Service battling forest fires in the western United States. So I talked earlier about the water drop from the Ventura County Aviation Unit. Also, thanks to Aaron for the work he does in keeping us safe. We know all too well here in Ventura County the dangers that come with uh, firefighting issues. bringing it over the top again now and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about his helicopter the Red Bull helicopter look at that 20 years ago you never would have seen anything like this in a helicopter so his helicopter is an MBB B0105 designed primarily for the German Army they're built in Germany and Canada all the Red Bull helicopters are built in the Canadian factory. He has uh, twin engines, two Rolls-Royce 250 C20B engines, generating about 420 horsepower each.